In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can use the cron tab on Raspberry Pi so you can schedule cron jobs. So cron jobs will allow you simply to automate tasks. So for example, let's say you want to run a script every five minutes on the Raspberry Pi. Or uh, if you want to run a script or a specific command every Monday at 10 a.m. Well, this is something you can easily automate with cron tab. And doing it on a Raspberry Pi is super powerful. Why is that? Because, well, a Raspberry Pi is a very tiny piece of hardware that you can easily keep plugged 24-7. And so if you have a Raspberry Pi at home or at work, you can use it as kind of a server that runs all the time and that's going to execute your cron jobs. And let's get started. So the first thing is how to see all the cron jobs that are currently running on your Raspberry Pi. So basically what is already automated. You can open a new uh, terminal here and you are going to type cron tab dash L for list. You press enter and well, you can see that for now we don't have any cron tab for Pi. So for the Pi user, okay, the cron tab is specific to a user. And in this cron tab, we're going to have all the cron jobs. And now the question, how to automate comments and script? Well, you are going to edit this cron tab. To edit the cron tab, you're going to use cron tab dash E for edit. You press enter. This is the message you are going to get the very first time that you start a cron tab. They're going to ask you for an editor. We're going to use nano here. So you just press one or if you have different text editor you prefer you just uh, select the number you want okay i put one enter and now we are in the cron tab so what is in the cron tab so you have many commented lines here with hashtag you can see you can go down and well we don't have any cron job and so this uh, those comments here are gonna help you to create jobs the thing is i don't really like this comment let's go on the internet Let's open a web browser. And then what you're going to do is go on the Wikipedia page. Okay, the English. So you have the exact URL here. The English Wikipedia page for Cron. Okay, so Cron is the utility. Cron tab is where you edit the Cron jobs. And Cron jobs is what is going to run. Okay, what is going to be automated. And why do you go to this Wikipedia page? Well, because we have a nice here. Uh, nice help that you're gonna copy so Control c come back to the cron tab you're gonna remove everything from the cron tab so if you are on nano you can just cut text with uh, here you can see Control or command k and i'm just gonna do that until there is nothing and then Control shift and v and i paste what i got from wikipedia and now bye bye wikipedia so this is a much better help that I recommend you to copy paste in any cron type you do. And then that's going to help you to create your job. So that's going to be at the top. And then you can start to create a new cron job here. And so this is going to be the scheduling and this is going to be the comment. So let's start with the comment. What do we want to do? Let's do something very simple. Let's say that we want to add, let's say echo uh, one more line we want to do echo and add it inside the file that is in our home directory let's say test um, dot txt so this file doesn't i don't have this file already so this file is going to be created and then it's going to add one more line each time this command is executed okay i start with a very basic command you can choose any comments or anything you would write on the terminal, but you can also execute, for example, a Python script. So you can create a Python script uh, somewhere and then just use Python 3 and then the name of the script to execute the Python script. Okay, so anything you want to put here. A command, a bash script, a Python script, any executable you want. And then let's start with, so one star and then two, three, four, this is now a correct and complete cron job and so let's start with this so with all the stars and then let's go into more specific details okay 
So here you can see the first star is for the minute. Okay. So for example, here, a star means that it's going to run every minute. So on minute 0, minute 1, until 59. Okay. The second one is for the hour of the day. So from 0 to 23. Here we use the military time. We don't use, for example, 1 a.m. to 12 p.m. and then 1 p.m. to 12 a.m. We use 0 to 23. So if you have, for example, 8 p.m., that's going to be 20 hours. Okay, so this is going to be minute, the uh, hour, and then the day of the month. So if you want to run this script, the first, the second, the third, etc. of the month. And then which month? Okay, January, February, etc. with 1 to 12. And then you have another option that you may consider is which day of the week. So, uh, for example, 0 for Sunday, 1 for Monday, etc. So, let's see actually what does this mean if you have a star for each one. This is going to run every minute of every hour of every day of the month, of every month, and also every day of the week. So, if you have this, it's going to run basically every minute. So once you start to save this cron tab, so I'm going to save it Control S and let's do Control X to quit. Now, if I do cron tab dash L, you can see I have the cron tab with this cron job. Let's wait for one minute. OK, and after maybe one minute, let's go to the file manager. We have a new file here, test.txt. What do we have inside? Well, we have one more line. So this is working. This is working in the background, okay, with the cron, uh, cron jobs. So this is one cron job that is executed every minute. And so every minute you're going to uh, be able to open this test.txt file and see that you have one more line. All right. So let's come back to the editing of the cron tab. And so now we're going to add some specification. For example, if I put 20, this means that this is going to run every minute 20 of every hour of every day of every month. So by 20, it doesn't mean it's going to run every 20 minutes. OK, that's something very different. It means it's going to run every hour at the minute 20. So for example, midnight, so 20 past midnight, and then 20 past 1 a.m., 20 past 2 a.m., etc. So here in this case, this is going to run 24 times every day at the minute 20, okay? Then let's add an hour. Let's put 8. So this, if you put minute and hour, you specify an exact time of the day. Here, this is 8 a.m. 20 minutes. So every day at 8 a.m. 20 minutes, you're going to run this command, all right? So if I put, for example, uh, 15, this is going to be 3 p.m. Every day at 3 p.m. 20 minutes, we run this command or this script. Now let's add a day of the month. Let's say 2. This now is going to run once every month. So on the second of the month, so the second of January or February, etc., at 3 p.m. 20 minutes. Okay. And then I add a month. Let's say 3. So 3 is going to be March. And so here, if you provide 1, 2, 3, and 4, if you provide the four first numbers, this command is going to run once a year. It's going to run the 2nd of March at 3 p.m. 20 minutes. And that every year. Now, if you want to provide not, for example, uh, the exact day of the month, so let's put this for any day. If you want to provide, let's say, only uh, Mondays, Monday is going to be 1, then with this command you say that every Monday of March you're going to run this script at uh, 15, so 3 p.m. 20 minutes, every Monday of March, okay? So for the day you can use the exact day of the month, you can also use which day, so a Monday, a Tuesday, etc. And if you combine them, let's put 2 again here, What's going to happen is that it's going to run for this case and also for this case. Okay, so for the day and the day. Because you have two ways to provide the day. And so this, if you provide both, that's going to add the conditions. So what is going to happen here? 
is gonna run on the 2nd of March at this exact time and also on every Monday of March. Okay, so if this second is a Tuesday, for example, then it's gonna run on every Monday of March and also on the Tuesday second of March at this time. And so with this, you can see you can be very precise. Okay, now let's come back to this and this. So let's say I want to run something every second of the month, for every month. Now, a common error that you may uh, do first or see is to say, okay, if I'm going to run something every second of the month, I'm just going to do this. Star, star, and then second of the month. But then what's going to happen is that it's going to run every minute of every hour of the second of the month. So, for example, on second of January, you will have this running every minute of the day. Okay. Signal of February, that's going to be the same every minute of every hour. So make sure that if you want to run something once every day, you provide an exact hour. So for example, five and an exact minute, because if you just keep like this, that's going to run every minute of the hour five. Okay, if I put seven, that's going to run at uh, seven past five a.m. on a specific day, month, etc. Okay. Now, let's say that you want to run, so I'm going to come back here to this. Let's say you want to run something every five minutes. So, well, you have the minute five here, but then you also have the minute uh, zero. You have the minute five, 10, 15, etc. And that's going to be very inconvenient to write a crown job for every five minutes. So what you can do is do uh, star slash five. If you do start slash something that's gonna run every x so every five minutes here okay and for example here uh, on the day slash two that's gonna run every five minutes in every two days okay so it's gonna skip one day and then one day is gonna run the script every five minutes etc okay so every x amount of time star slash and then the number then let's say you want to run this every five minutes, but on the hour, uh, like at 3 a.m. and also at 5 a.m. So just on 3 a.m. and 5 a.m. Well, same thing, you're not going to repeat the cron type. What you can use is comma 5. So this means at 3 a.m. and also at 5 a.m. Okay. So here you have every five minutes at 3 a.m. and every five minutes at 5 a.m. And finally, you can also add a range. So let's use that with days. Let's say you want to run only from the 10th of the month to the 15th of the month. So you can do 10. So you could do 10, comma, 11, comma, 12, comma, etc., etc. But you can also do 10 dash 15. This is gonna run from the 10th to the 15th. Okay, so this is a range with dash, with comma, you have end, so this, and this, and this, etc. And uh, with this slash, you have every X amount, okay? So you can use this for uh, the minute, the hour, etc. You can use any option for any parameter here of the cron tab, okay? This is just an example here. So what it's gonna do is gonna run for every month between the 10th and the 15th at 3 a.m and also at 5 a.m. every five minutes. Okay, so you can see you can make very specific uh, scheduling here. All right, and one important thing you have to know is that the cron tab, so the cron job is only going to run if this computer here is powered on. Okay, and that's where the Raspberry Pi is very powerful, as I said to you in the introduction, is that you can keep your Raspberry Pi plugged all the time, and so you're not going to miss any cron job. Okay? Because, for example, your laptop, if you have a laptop that you need to travel with, you may not be able to keep it running all the time and maybe connect it to the Internet if you need to download stuff or comments that interact with the Internet. So with the Raspberry Pi, it's super convenient because you can keep it running and then all the cron jobs are going to be executed. You are sure that you're not going to miss one. And so now that you understand how to create a cron job, well, you just go to a new line and you create another one. One, two, three, four, five. So you do that and then the command, and then you just come back and you edit one by one 
to do what you want to do. What you can also do maybe is add a comment, okay? This cron job, so for example, description of the cron job. So what it does, etc., etc. To give some ideas, okay, for you or some other people who can read the cron job or your Raspberry Pi. Now I am gonna save again. I'm gonna exit, okay? If I do cron tab dash l, I can see the current cron tab with the comment and the different jobs. And now let's do clear. If you want to remove your cron tab, you can do cron tab dash r to remove. If you press enter. You don't have any cron tab. If I do cron tab dash L, no cron tab for pi. Okay, so you will need to create again with cron tab dash E, and then you have a new cron tab. Okay, from scratch. So let's exit with control X. And now, well, I'm gonna give you a nice tool that you can use uh, from the internet so you can easily first write your cron tab, make sure they are correct, and then put them on your Raspberry Pi. And this website is called crontab.guru. Okay, you can just go to that exact URL, and this is gonna help you create your cron tabs. Okay, so you can see, this is just for the scheduling here. You have the five different, so let's put star for everyone. So this, you can see, it's gonna run at every minute. So you put the scheduling here, and it's gonna tell you exactly with English words what it is going to do. So if I put, for example, 5, and then if I put 6-10, then I put uh, 7, 14, you can see that it's going to run at minute 5, past every hour from 6 through 10 only, okay, on the day of the month 7 and 14. So this tool is great because, well, you can validate your cron tab. Okay, because if you don't really know what you're doing first, you're going to put this inside uh, your cron tab here with cron tab dash E. And if it's not working, well, the only way to know if it's correctly working is to see when it's being executed. But if you're going to execute something once a year or once a week, well, you want to make sure it's working fine because that's going to be hard to debug. So with this tool, this is going to be easy. And so now let's finish with an example. Let's, so let's remove all that. One, two, three, four, five. Let's say you want to run something on your Raspberry Pi every 20 minutes of every day of the week from Monday to Friday and from working hours, for example, 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. So basically you want to run something when, for example, people are in the office or when you are in the office, okay, something like that. So. You want to run something every 20 minutes. So let's start with that. Let's use the slash 20 at every 20 minutes. Okay. You want to run that from 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. So that's going to be 9 dash. So what is 5 p.m.? 5 p.m. is 17 hours. And you want to run that from Monday to Sunday. So you're not going to uh, precise any specific day of the month because Monday could be uh, the first, the second, the third, depends on the month. You're not gonna specify any month because you want to run that every month, but you're gonna specify here the day of the week. So Monday is one, dash, Friday is gonna be five. And so this is gonna run at every 20 minutes, past every hour from 9 through 5 p.m., 17 on every day of the week from Monday through Friday. All right, this is what we want. So now I'm gonna copy this, Control C, come back here on the Raspberry Pi terminal, cron tab dash E. Okay, well, you can just take uh, the comments from Wikipedia again, and I'm just gonna do Control Shift and V, okay, and put my comment here. So it can be a comment on the terminal, can be a bash script, can be a Python script, anything you want. And now I do control S, control X, okay, cron tab dash L, and I see my cron job here, and this is gonna run exactly how we want it to run. If you liked this video, subscribe to get more tutorials like this in the future. Also, check out my online courses so you can learn Raspberry Pi step by step in an efficient way by practicing and directly going to the point. Links in the description. All right, thank you for watching. See you in the next tutorial or in one of my courses.